who has an existing customer database? Emails, phone numbers, names, addresses, whatnot, okay? So what I recommend is just do a simple survey. You can use SurveyMonkey, it's free. SurveyMonkey.com. And make, I would make about six questions or so. First, how they found out about your business initially, so you know which advertising medium is working for you. Then you ask them um, what they like most about your, your service or business, okay? And then you ask them what would they like to see improve, okay? And then you ask them, um, would you recommend your, your, you to a friend? You take the responses from that survey and then you create a bunch of keywords that are gonna be used to brand your website. For example, if you're doing uh, security, right? So um, what you would do is, you probably already have a list of benefits for your company. So uh, can you tell me a few things, like benefits of your service? Quick response, say service, um, technology, techno yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jyoti, do you have some, some benefits for your business? Yes, good service and then uh, uh, better rate, I would say, because that's what most people want to know, what I can offer them, mm -hmm. can I bring on the table? Yeah. Okay, so for example, you'll have a list of uh, keywords. So we have, uh, you say quick, right? And then better rates, okay? And then you say uh, high tech, high tech, right? Mm -hmm. High tech. And then you also said, uh, uh, what else did you say? Well, service. Service. Yeah. Um, um, service oriented. Service oriented, okay. So you do it in a survey, you make check boxes like this. And then you send out the survey to your customer. And then people are going to say, oh, yeah, you're quick. And yeah, you're high tech. And then, uh, and then you'll have other down here. Okay. And then when they, when they click other, then they can write what their reason is. So after your survey, you're gonna have something like this. You're gonna have people say, 10 people said this, uh, five people said yes to this, uh, two people said that, and eight people said that, for example. Okay. And then other, you have, let's say 10 people have other, and then you have a whole bunch of different reasons that they bought from you, that you never knew about, never even thought of, okay? So once you have this, now you know what is the most important reason people buy from you. And now, what are you gonna put as the number thing, one thing on your website now? Are you gonna put this as the number one thing on your website? No. Quick no. service oriented. Quick service oriented, okay? So now you speak directly to the customers that are buying from you because they are telling you, your previous customers are telling you why they bought from you, okay? Now that's not all, because you got all these others, right? So you take these and you plug them back into the survey. So you get the idea. So you have um, more and more. And because this only ranked two, you don't want to put too many on here, so maybe you remove this part, okay? So now you start to um, filter out the ones that are not important to your customers and start to really uh, research into what your customers really buy into. What are really, what's really important for your customers, okay? You do this a couple times, maybe even three times, and now you can narrow down. You wanna narrow it down to the six most important reasons why your customers buy from you. Six reasons, six. You want the top three, and then you want the top six. The reason, because you want to create the top three to six features and the top three to six benefits. When people read lists, usually the most effective number is three, a list of three things or a list of six things. Once it gets over six, they're not gonna read it, <laughs> okay? If you give them five, then it's gonna be confusing. It's like it's not three, it's not, Right? But if it's six, for some reason, when it's three to six, people will read everything. Okay, not five, not four. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is weird. Okay. Uh, and then one and two is usually not enough. So, you, so th some, some reason I found the sweet spot is three or six. So that's why you want to narrow down to three 
features and benefits and six features and benefits. And that's what you want to put on your website, on the top, right before they scroll down to the page. Okay? Don't put in a picture of a mortgage broker. Don't put a picture of an alarm system. Don't put a picture of an investment bank or something. Okay? What you want to put is you want to, yes, you want to have that picture in there, but then the most important thing is the th top three most important things to your customer. And that's how you found out. Okay, so that's one way to do website and branding strategy. I've used it and it's very effective. Okay, and that's going to set you apart from your, co from your competition. Make sense? Okay, is this helping you guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah.